y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and today is day four of Vlogmas. And what I have kind of pegged down on my calendar for Sundays is to do a grocery haul and maybe a little bit of a menu plan. But today what I want to do, I do have a quick grocery haul, and I'll add that here in a minute. But what I want to talk to you about first is holiday cooking and baking and candy making and holiday dishes tell me in the comments below what kinds of things you like to cook for your family or or bake or whatever for your family during the holidays um, yesterday was actually our my extended family's thanks christmas giving and we had um we had a full thanksgiving meal but our you know for my family when i was growing up we had basically the same dishes on thanksgiving christmas and easter and those were just the big holidays and we had you know all the things and so i'll be sharing a um I'll be sharing my baked bean recipe that is one of those dishes that it's not a holiday without these baked beans. Um, and I'm going to show you that recipe, I think Tuesday, you'll see it post because that's when I'm doing cook with me and recipes and things like that. So um, today though, oh, just let's talk about your favorite all-time Christmas dishes. Now, when I was growing up, and my mother made Christmas cookies. This is this classic sugar cookie recipe. And the icing that just, it was just this delicious, more like a buttercream type icing. Um, maybe a little bit of a royal icing because it, it would get a crust on it, kind of. But it wasn't a hard cookie. I mean, a hard icing. But it was so good. And my mother was famous for these cookies. She always made a batch and would take them to our neighbors. And um, just all-time favorite. That just did taste like the holidays to me. Do you have a favorite cookie recipe or a sugar cookie recipe? Do you decorate cookies at the holidays? Um, I'm going to do cookies this year. And I'm going to do, a, I have a new cookie cutter, y'all. I have a new cookie cutter. It is that pickup truck, that old antique looking Dodge truck that you see everywhere now for all the holidays. And I have them all over my house. I'm obsessed. My dad had one of those down in the backfield, um, one of those old trucks. And so uh, I have cookie cutters now of that truck that I cannot wait to use to cut cookies out and then i'm gonna i'm gonna make the icing the color of my dad's truck and it just all happens y'all his his truck was a mint green but apparently at some point he painted it red and then it went back to being the mint green again so mint green and red are the colors i'm gonna paint and the christmas colors y'all it's just screaming out perfect it's just perfect so i'm gonna be going to be making those this year as just kind of a a special tribute to my dad who passed away on Labor Day of this year. Um, so anyway, and then my mother always got together with one of her sisters and they always made Christmas candies and they would make like Heath Bar, they would make those peanut butter blossoms. It's like a peanut butter cookie that's been rolled in sugar. And then you use a chocolate kiss on top of it. Some, of the, some people call them sombreros. Um, but those were always a must. And then when I was young, my mom used to make fudge. She didn't make fudge after our, we got older, I don't think. Maybe just because there wasn't enough people around to eat it all the time. Um, but those are some of the things that we always grew up with. Oh, and the peanut butter balls. They were like chocolate covered peanut butter balls. And rum balls. And these coconutty things and oh so many different things well this year good lord willing in the creek sunrise y'all this is this is where the holidays get in the way of my health goals um but i'm going to be making a bunch of holiday cookies and candies 
um, for family members because I just, y'all, I love candy and I know my family loves candy. And so what better way to show your love than making homemade candy from your childhood? Am I the only one that does that? Um, but anyway, what are your favorite chocolate candies? Because there are so many candies out there, y'all. I've been watching some inspirational YouTube videos um, on different candy, Christmas candy recipes and getting ideas of what other families always make um, at Christmas time. One of my, well, my daughter-in-law is actually um, Jewish, like by birth, and they make rugula. I don't know if I'm saying it right or wrong, but she made it for Thanksgiving the other day. And then the um, cookies that you eat at Purim that I'm not even going to try to say, if you know how to say it, please write it out phonetically in the comments for me. If you know, like the ones that are circles and then you fold them and they're triangles and they've got like jelly, like um, apricot jam or jelly in them or, you know. So anyway... Those are some of the things that I plan on. I'm not going to make my, my, da my daughter-in-law's cookies because they just, they take a lot of work. <laughs> I helped her on Thanksgiving just preparing the apricots for the Purim cookies. And that was, you know, it took a lot of effort. She didn't just buy store-bought apricot jam, jelly, whatever stuff, preserves. So anyway, um, tell me in the comments below your favorite holiday cookies. Do you like gingerbread? Yes or no? I love like ginger snaps. I want to make gingerbread houses. I'm just, my favorite Christmas holiday decorations are gingerbread. And this year, you know what I bought? I bought a gingerbread pickup truck. Those old trucks that you see everywhere that I just finished talking about. I got one that is um, gingerbread, uh, not real gingerbread, it's like ceramic, but when I saw it, I was just like, mm, no, this is, this is meant to be, I'm supposed to have this, and of course, you know, it was like 50% off at Hobby Lobby, so I got it. I also got another one of those trucks that I change out what's inside the um the bed of the truck based on the holiday and um, i bought it and it was like it was a pioneer woman one and it was it's kind of big and it was marked down to eight dollars um, and it says like the drummond ranch on the door or something like that but it's a real pretty blue color and y'all know i love blue like the blues and the teals and the green mint greens and those colors those are mine robin egg i think is what my color is officially called but anyway, it was it was a pretty blue color, and it was marked down, and so I had to get it. I just I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with those trucks. So if you ever if you ever want to send me something in the mail, put put that truck on me, um, and I will love it forever. And it will probably hang on my wall somewhere because I'm obsessed, and especially now that my dad has passed. I I always loved that truck, but since since my dad passed it's super extra special to me um but anyway what are your favorite cookies and candies for the holiday or whether you make them or somebody else makes them for you i want to hear about it because i want inspiration to make all of the things um because we're doing finger foods at my my family's um holiday get together my more immediate like my kids adult kids and their families we're gonna do finger foods and so you know that's gonna be a lot of candy on my part so anyway here is like i promised y'all here's the the quick little thingamajiggy what do you call it that thing you know the thing grocery haul here's today's quick grocery haul hey y'all it's farmer me ma and today i'm just going to show you my grocery haul and instead of getting everything ready and then doing the haul, I'm just really busy. And so, I'm just going to show you what I've gotten actually from the last two days. Um, because I shopped yesterday and today. Um, first of all, these were $1.25 each. They're zero 
zero sugar, 10 calorie. They are my energy drink of preference, of preference, um, of choice anyway. Um, and so I got some of those. I got a bag of oranges, four pounds for $2.99. I'm gonna make sure this stove isn't hot as I move stuff over here. Okay. And then I got celery because, you know, we're still doing some holiday stuff. Um, these were marked down at Walmart. I went to Walmart and I went to Kroger twice. Um, they're marked down to 53 cents. Regular price, I don't know, $1.47. So, um, I, I got two of them. And my plan for these, I may use one to make a dressing. Um, but one I'm going to use to make some uh, bread pudding for my kiddos. Now, I've told y'all I'm... I'm going low carb again, and I am, and I, I'm not going to be eating uh, the bread products. I'm trying to eat clean, but I'm cooking for more than just me. This is my preferred sweetener. It's the Kroger brand Stevia. If you get the 3.38 fluid ounce, it's a better deal than the smaller ones. So, I picked up a couple of those. That's what I use to sweeten my coffee. Um... Asparagus was $1.99 a pound, so I got one of those, one of these little bundles of asparagus. Um, cheese was, y'all, I hate the way, now the sale prices are what the full price was a year ago or less. So, um... These were on sale for $5.99, which is the cheapest you're going to get them anymore. Um, and so, and if I do, I'll buy more if they do get cheaper. But, um, it's like mix and match by five or more of stuff. And this was the only thing I was buying that was mix and match. And so, I bought five of them. And I got cheddar and I got mozzarella. Because, if you know, mozzarella is one of those things that is in a lot of recipes like fathead dough and so i got it and then we go through a lot of cheddar cheese just on hamburgers and tacos and things like that and i make crackers with cheddar so i got five two pounds so i got 10 pounds of cheese and then i got five of these and they are smoked sausages they were on sale for 247 and um, normally closer to four dollars if not more and so I got five of those because you could use the coupon up to five times. And so that's how I use my coupon. They had 10 for 10, which just means a dollar each. But I bought 10 because we go through them a lot. Like I said, I've said before, my dog locks them. Um, so we stocked up when they're on sale. They used to, full price, used to be like, I remember they used to be like 75 cents. And then they were 88 cents. And then they were 99 cents. And now they're more like a dollar 29 to a dollar 50 full price and so you know i'm getting them on sale for a dollar when they used to be a lot less than that um i got two cucumbers my original plan they had baby cucumbers on sale i'm gonna make some christmas pickles and i'm gonna try to make them uh keto friendly so that i can have them because i yeah so i'm not gonna be using a lot of times uh People will use um, those candies, Red Hots, which are supposed to be delicious with making pickles with those. But last year, I made some pickles. They weren't Christmas pickles, but they were sweet pickles, and they had, like, clove and spice like that. I actually made them out of watermelon rinds, and they were delicious. I, still, I have one jar left. Um, but uh, that's what I use last year to make some kind of holiday-ish pickles and this year i'm going to use cucumber but i'm going to make christmas pickles and i'm going to try to make them keto friendly like i said i'll probably use monk fruit that worked really well last year and i'll use all of the holiday spices spices cinnamon clove all that good stuff y'all know me and clove we're like this and so there will definitely be clove and so that is just all the hot dogs and the sausages so i got the cucumbers oh the baby cucumbers were on sale for $1.99 for a pound. But these were $0.69 cents each. And I think this is probably at least a pound um, between the two of them. And uh, it was only $1.40-ish, $1.38. So I got those. Um, oh, 
I need to get these. I need to get these in the refrigerator, y'all. Um, I got these for. Hang on, I'll tell you when I get back. Well, I'll, I can tell you right now while I'm in the fridge. Um, we use those small can biscuits that used to be you'd get like 88 cents for the four pack. That four pack was three dollars, y'all. Oh my word. But anyway, so um, we make our homemade old recipe chicken and dumplings that my aunt made um and now my sister makes and now this generation my daughter makes them i've never had to make them thank goodness but anyway so um i make the baked beans and i bought stuff for that too but uh we use the canned biscuits and we're gonna have the leftover turkey from thanksgiving um, and some turkey and dumplings and so i got the biscuits for that and they had some, they had, Kroger had a lot of different coffees on sale. And coffee is so expensive these days and it's hard to find it on a good sale. The last time we bought it, we bought from uh, Sam's and it was still really expensive and a lot more than we used to pay for it. But this time, these were on sale. I justified it by saying they're not, I mean, they were cheaper than full price what we normally buy but we never buy full price like i never pay full price for coffee when coffee goes on sale i stock up and um i buy five or more and uh this time around the sale is not a good sale they're just they're the old full prices and so anyway if i'm gonna pay old full prices anyway I was looking at different kinds of flavors and you know just trying some specialty coffees um and so this one is don francisco's coffee and it is um vanilla nut and so i'm going to taste i'm going to try this one and then i got seattle's best and it this is port side blend a medium roast and i got post alley and it's a dark roast and it says it is smoky and intense and i figured my husband would like this one um get another seattle's best see they get you like i bought different dark roasts but they have different names is it all just a scam have y'all tasted these do they taste different this one the other one was like smoky and intense this one is complex and robust and so we're gonna see if I like smoking intense better or if I can even tell the difference in these. Uh, and the last one was from Family Owned Community Coffee. And this is the New Orleans blend dark roast. And so bold, lively blend with a smooth, complex finish. And so I got this one. So I'm gonna be drinking some coffee. I mean, what's new? I always drink coffee. Um, but. I bought some different kinds so that I can just kind of expand my palette because I'm actually going to be changing up. I, one of the things that I bought today was heavy whipping cream um, because I'm, I'm going back hardcore keto and I'm doing heavy whipping cream instead of um, the half and half. So I've, I've got heavy cream. Oh, and then here's, they had green apples on sale for 99 cents a pound so i bought i don't know two and a half pounds or so and then this is i don't even know what i'm gonna do with this y'all this is one of those things Mima can't pass up a deal so here's here's what i got it everything in the bag is 99 cents so, and they're heavy um but they are ugly old pomegranates and i got all three for 99 cents so like 33 cents a piece don't know if they're rotten inside don't know if they're any good inside we're gonna see I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with them another time. Um, and then, let's see here. More hot dogs. That's my mozzarella. Oh, and then yesterday, um, I got a pineapple. Yesterday, the pineapple was $1.29, so I got one. I got one before Thanksgiving while I was at my son's house because they just have their, they just had their new baby. And, um... So I would gotten one while I was there, but we didn't eat it. I hope that they're eating it now that I'm gone because I didn't bring it home. Um, and then yesterday when, or not before, maybe it was 
not before last. When I went to Kroger, um, I got I got five bag five five bags of their sugar-free chocolate chips. Um, because their chocolate chips are used to be a dollar ninety-nine. Um, then they went up to like two thirty nine or two something. Yesterday they were on sale for two thirty nine, and then I used a fifty cent coupon for extra savings, so I paid dollar seventy nine a bag. And the bag size, let me tell you, how many bags? I mean, and it's, they're not the cleanest. They're probably not as good as Lily's. They're they're not sweetened with stevia. I'm guessing. Mouths are tall. That's what they're sweetened with. Chocolate liquor. Uh, sorry, less of thin vanilla extract. Yeah, but having said that, see if I can show you the ingredients list. Can you read that? I don't know if my, I don't know if my. Can you see? It's it's a pretty short list. So that's a good sign, except for that first thing being mouth at all. So anyway, so that is what I got. So now I'm just going to. Oh, and I got. Hang on, y'all. I got sweet taters because my husband makes his famous sweet potato casserole um, for holidays. And this Saturday, we're having our um, Thanks Christmas Giving holiday with my extended family. And so, he's making his sweet potato casserole, and I'm making the baked beans. Um, when I make them, I may go ahead and um video that i'm not sure y'all i don't know how well my brain's going to be working that day um and i also bought some ketchup ketchup is actually one of the ingredients in the baked beans as is dark caro syrup and brown sugar and onions it's so good y'all anyway so that is that is my shopping haul and if you want to see it close up and all together there it is um i'm a bit of a hot mess today uh and if you didn't watch the last video um, I created a new channel that is a hot mess on a mission. It's going to be just um, the thing there. I'm focusing on getting healthy, getting organized, and getting busy creating a life that I love. And this channel is going to be all of those homestead projects and maybe some canning and, and less than healthy cooking. Um, I know I've got a lot of projects that I need to be working on outside and those would be Farmer Meemaw projects. The other ones will be the hot mess projects like, you know, getting organized and using planners and things like that. All right, guys. So, that was the grocery haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share my channel with your friends. Anyone who you think would be interested in my content because I'm really working hard to um, just grow my channel and provide you with more quality content and just so I can be able to spend more time with you guys to be honest I love talking to you guys it means so much to me y'all perk me up y'all make my day brighter and so thank you for that um but yeah have a great day and I will see you tomorrow